Hi, Mickey. Hi, how are you? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Ask the Doulas with Gold Coast Doulas. I'm Kristen, and I'm here today with Vicki from Grand Wellness to talk about fertility and acupuncture. So welcome, Vicki. Oh, thanks, Kristen. It's great to be here. So tell us about yourself before we begin. Well, um, I am an acupuncturist and I own um, a holistic care clinic here in Grand Rapids called Grand Wellness. And we've been here for about six years. So it's been wonderful being here. Um, Previously, um, I had moved here from New York City where acupuncture is um, used very often. And so moving here, it's been wonderful to see it growing and holistic health in general, just growing, um, you know, every year by leaps and bounds. So um, it's been really wonderful. And I think we met when you first moved to Michigan through a mutual friend. Yes, absolutely. Yes. That was quite a, quite a while ago. (laughs) Yes, it sure was. We're glad to have you here. And I love seeing how well your practice is doing. Thank you. Yeah, so we work with um, a lot of different uh, conditions here at the office, but you know, a, a group that I really enjoy working with are our couples um, nice. who are trying to conceive. It's it's a, it's very rewarding to to work with with these uh, women and men um, who are trying to conceive naturally or maybe. Be they're using um, IVF or anywhere in between. Sure. So yeah, take us through the process of how a couple would work with you as they're trying to conceive, whether they're using natural methods only, Mm -hmm. or if they are going through um, the fertility center, for example, and want Mm -hmm. a mix of holistic and, you know, medicine. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, we really meet each couple or, 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 um, mother at where, whatever place they're at. So, um, you know, optimally, you know, as soon as they have a little glimmer in their heart that, um, that they, that they would like to start a family, that's when we'd love to start seeing them, but that doesn't always work out. A lot of times we, and we see um, people after they've been trying for a while, we see probably our greatest group of couples when they're working with a fertility clinic. Yes. So um, we do a lot of work with the local fertility clinic here. Um, I think they, they know our, our smiling faces (laughs) over there, (laughs) but, um, but we really meet them where they're at and we're able to help in, in uh, all aspects of preparing both um, the woman as well as the men. And I think that, 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 that working with men is an aspect of uh, fertility that people don't think about. Um, yes, I'd love to hear more about that. So do you work with the man surrounding his emotions or just basically to prepare him biologically? Yeah. So um, I guess the easiest way to explain is to really explain how acupuncture works um, in the body. And, you know, there's a couple different ways to look at it. Um, There's through the eyes of Chinese medicine, and then there's through the eyes of our our scientific knowledge, right, of how the body works. Um, So I'll, I'll sort of walk you through maybe the scientific knowledge, since that's what most people think of when they're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. Um, yeah. with, with their with their fertility. So acupuncture, it really is great at calming the nervous system, um, balancing hormones and increasing blood flow, you know, blood sure. flow, blood flow, blood flow. I can't, I can't say it enough when people, um, you know, come in for treatment. And the reason that acupuncture can help and is so helpful is because first off, if we look at just increasing the blood flow, well, we're focused on having that blood flow uh, reach the reproductive organs. Yes. Um, and so in that way, we're looking at it to improve those, the function of the ovaries, to uh, nourish and, um, and help grow these healthy, ready eggs, to send more blood to the uterus to create this thick and healthy lining. 
And, you know, those aspects are, you know, obviously extremely important when we're looking at ease of, of getting pregnant. Another way that acupuncture helps is by reducing stress. And I'm sure you've heard it uh, a million times, right? Stress can be, can really cause a lot of problems for us across the board. But when we're looking specifically at fertility, you know, it's, it's easy to see how it can cause a problem. I always yeah. explain stress by using my, uh, my little prehistoric story, you know, of a woman, she's sort of walking down the street and this, you know, saber tooth tiger jumps in her path. And at that moment, her body clicks into the sympathetic nervous system and all the blood and all the energy in her body is allowing, getting out to the muscles so she can run fast, so she can be strong, um, to her eyes so she can see, um, opening the ability to bring in more oxygen, to breathe more, to be fast. And that's great in that situation, but in that, at that time, the blood is not in your reproductive organs because it's not necessary there. Sure. And so nowadays we just have this, this, we're in this time where we're overloaded by work. We're overloaded with family obligations. And so we have this ongoing chronic stress that can be over, or overreacted to by our body. And so we're not, our reproductive organs just aren't thriving in that environment. So uh, having acupuncture be able to click us back into that parasympathetic nervous system where we breathe, where we get more blood to our organs and can really focus on healing our body and nourishing eggs and yeah. all of those things. It's, it's extremely important. And especially when people are trying to get pregnant, they add that much stress because they're always stressed about whether they're pregnant. Right. Why aren't they getting pregnant? Yeah. And for our clients who, you know, are, who started out their journey with the fertility center. And I mean, there's a lot of stress with that or clients who've had loss in the past and they're worried about experiencing loss again. And so I can see how emotionally it would be great in preparation and, you know, our clients who had an, an easy time getting pregnant the first time and then struggle with secondary and they come to me wanting resources and help. And I do bring up acupuncture, but I'm learning so much with you today about the whole process and the benefits. And it seems like if, even if it's years away, that preparing their body well in advance would be beneficial for couples. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, even when we look at um, males in this way, they're doing research and there's research out there showing that, um, that stress can reduce the amount of sperm, healthy sperm sure. um, that a male has. You know, it, it can alter the shape and, you know, it can reduce its ability to be a great swimmer and all the things we need to make sure we're making some some good quality and in some cases quantity, depending on what we're working with, embryos. So really important for males to be in on that. And I say this to all of my women that come in, a third of fertility difficulties lie with the man. And yeah. I don't think we as women always understand how high that number is. A lot higher than what? many women think. So yeah, surprising. Yeah. In fact, I think that the what the research states is about a third of difficulties um, are on the female side, a third are on the male side, and then a third are somewhere in between. So, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. And I, and I think we, we take on the burden as women that it must be ours. And men, you know, many men just assume it's a, a problem you know, with the female side. So it's great to know that men can really help out and, you know, be a part of uh, increasing success. It's great. A couple so other Vicky, things. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. A couple other things that acupuncture is great for, especially when we're working with um, IVF, is it can prevent uterine contractions. 
So the way that we work with the nervous system, we can calm that nervous system, which um, connects to that smooth muscle tissue. And Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so um, when we do embryo transfers, or when we work before and after embryo transfers, after treatments really are focused on on eliminating uterine uterine contractions as much as possible. And that really Mm -hmm. helps to, you know, uh, have successful implantation. So if any of our listeners or clients um, have yet to experience acupuncture. Can you describe what a fertility session would be like and how many visits a male and female client would um, have? I don't know if there are, if you work with the, the partner in a certain number of sessions, ideally, and then the expecting person. Yeah. Is it different as far as the number of sessions or what that would look like? You know, ultimately we like to, uh, to work with them on a course of 12 treatments and, um, it's not an arbitrary number. Three months, you know, of acupuncture helps to create good, healthy eggs and is, you know, is about the time of how long it takes to regenerate sperm. So it takes about uh, 90 days, you know, okay. uh, for this egg to mature, um, to be ovulated. And so if we can get, you know, to working with the woman right away, we can get more blood flow. And inside that blood is all these nutrients to really impact the health of that egg and equally the health of the sperm. And so that's why optimally we're looking at three months, though I will always say to my clients, three to six months, because we want to make sure we're working over, um, you know, a couple of uh, uh, cycles in that capacity with good, healthy eggs. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And that, would that be a session a week and an hour long session or what would that look like? So all the sessions are an hour long. The first one's usually longer. So probably about 90 minutes because we do a pretty lengthy intake, lengthier than if you went to the doctor. We ask a lot of questions and um, a lot of the questions people can't possibly understand how they would connect with (laughs) um, their reproductive uh, strength. But, But we look at the whole body. And so we're using a tongue diagnosis, pulse diagnosis, um, if any, if um, somebody brings in their BBT charting because they've been charting their basal body temperature, we use that information and we cre- and we put together this story. You know where where does the imbalance lie, and we work to, you know, change that as well as helping to just move that blood to where it needs to go. And so they're about an hour after the first one. And we like to do them once a week. And I know you have a male acupuncturist as well for those who prefer. So absolutely. Yeah. To work with a male. So that's a great option. And do you treat, do you ever do dual sessions since you have multiple acupuncturists or? We'll do them at the same time. We can book people at the same time. We don't do them in the same room. Okay. So how the session itself, um, you know, the people come in and and we, and, you know, we talk, we assess and, you know, we put, I put together um, our, my, my, my point prescription. I often think talk about it as, but uh, choosing the acupuncture points that I'm going to use. And, you know, it's, it seems like it would be extremely gentle, but it actually is. I mean, ultimately, my goal is for people just to feel very relaxed. I treat a lot of people that are very afraid of needles. Yes. And um, they're always happy at, when they're done that, that they came to treatment because it's very relaxing. And um, many have gotten over their fear of needles. And um, it's nothing like going and having a blood draw. Right. I would agree. I just had a session a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't sure what to expect. And it was very relaxing. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It's, it's the, it's the, it's a great way to be, to, uh, uh, to be treated, right. To, you know, to walk out and be like, oh, you know, the, the, the relief, the relaxation. um, It's, it's very, it's 
leaves us feeling very balanced. Agreed. Yeah. And I can see how some people would, with the fear of needles, would have a challenge. But if they're going through traditional fertility methods, they're, they're dealing with needles in a different way. Absolutely. So, so maybe that could help their fear. You know, it, it does. I've had, and it's funny because um, I've had clients who um, don't have uh, the support maybe to, uh, to do some of those needling. And so um, while I can't do any of that, that the needling from the fertility clinic for them, the stuff they need yes. to do on their own, sometimes I'll sit and I'll just support them and just be like, you're, you're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. So we'll do a treatment before and then they, yes. uh, they get that support. So, um, we, you know, we really help our clients uh, at w- wherever they are with whatever tools we have. I love it. So how do our listeners find you? Oh, well, we have a great website. Um, it's grandwellness.net. And it has a lot of information on it. And they can make an appointment on there. Um, they can also call. I always do, and so does Corey. We do complimentary um, consultations. Right. Um, you know, just so people can really talk. Because everyone is approaching this from a different place. And, you know, the, sometimes the need to just, you know, check it out and say, is this right for me, um, is important. So we always love people to have the option to really talk to us to see how they connect with us um, and to ask their questions before treatment starts. Thanks for being on. Do you have any parting words for our listeners who are struggling with fertility? I, you know, I think it's important to remember um, that, and I say this to all of my clients, that when you're told or, or see that infertility is, is your condition, that it's not a word we use here. Because my clients aren't necessarily unable to conceive. They just haven't conceived yet. Right. And I think it's really important for us to keep that in my mind because our, oh, our, our nervous system, our brain, our heart really um, can make change in many different ways in our body. So coming at it, knowing that we can do this, you know, and your body can do this is a great way to approach your future. I love it. Words matter. We believe that with hypnobirthing, just changing the language and the imagery um, can make a big difference. So getting the fear out. Absolutely. And sure you're supported. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You were talking some doula language there a little yeah. bit ago about just, you know, just telling them that they're doing great and, and being there emotionally as a support person. So it's great to have a, a big team supporting you, especially during this time of uncertainty with coronavirus. And so I love that you're a great resource for our families and listeners. Yeah. And we off, we also offer, um, be, we have a, a, a couple of conditions that we, um, we know are um, big struggles and we like to treat people for a certain amount of time. And because of that, we have some programs that we do offer um, and fertility is one of those programs. So on our website under programs, um, you can see the different programs we put together to give a little financial help to those going through this struggle. So, um, you know, to make it a little bit easier. That's wonderful. And I I know you do take most health savings and flex spending. Is that correct? And so uh, working with health, uh, we um, can give uh, receipts and it really depends on if your health savings and flex spending covers acupuncture, but if it does, yes. And more insurance companies are starting to cover acupuncture, but it really depends on if they cover it and what they cover it for. Okay. So, uh, but we're happy to give super bills to everyone and anyone so they can, um, you know, get reimbursement if that's applicable with their insurance. Thank you. It was great to chat with you today, Vicki, and we'll have you on in the future to talk more about pregnancy and acupuncture. Fabulous. That would be wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening to Ask the Doulas with Gold Coast Doulas. You can find us at our website, goldcoastdoulas.com, and also on iTunes and 
SoundCloud. These moments are golden.